In our continuing look at how one Georgia crop shapes so much of our existence, we see how cotton is truly woven into the lives of one couple. Recently, I had the opportunity to meet Michael and Cheryl White, who says cotton is definitely the fabric of their lives. If you've ever heard of Penfield, it's probably because it was the location of Mercy University's original campus, first established in 1833. Penfield is where the school's namesake is buried, Jesse Mercer, and just across the road is the shop that belongs to Michael and Cheryl White. That's where Cheryl spends most of her spare time weaving. Most of my friends, um, close ones at least, are either weavers or spinners. <laughs> so it's people that, have, that share a like interest. Originally from England, Cheryl's love of weaving is apparent in what she calls a piece of art. She told me her creations are functional as well as fun. It's basically a cape, but it's based on a, a South American garment called a ruana, which is basically a large piece of fabric that's split up the front. I'll take this off. I have added the embellishment of a, of a hood um, to make it a little bit more wearable. And this is, this is my old favorite. I've worn this many, many years, um, and I have another one. For 30 plus years, Cheryl has been weaving and said it all started after visiting the Amish country. When I was about 11, I went to the Amish country and watched a woman weaving gingham on a great big colonial barn loom. And I knew then that I wanted to weave. And after that, I played around with the potholder looms and the small things that you can make. But I didn't actually weave until we came to Athens and Michael bought me a loom for a wedding present, and I took classes. And as far as her husband Michael, he enjoys being involved with cotton and yarns. The University of Georgia found me, so I maintain the make home looms at the University of Georgia. I do it for free. They basically, they buy yarn for me, and I, and I adjust their looms for them. And if you're looking to learn to hand weave, Cheryl is always looking for students that appreciate the craft and loves the source of where her fabrics originate. And when I worked in Madison, it was great to be in Morgan County and know that there was all that cotton going into Bostwick. Uh, going down to Swift Spinning and seeing the cotton that's coming in from, you know, the farms and it's stamped on it and it came from Tift County. I, it's terrific to see cotton that's actually made and grown in this country again. Now, if you'd like to find out more about Cheryl's weaving and how she combines a variety of fibers with traditional motifs or how to buy her timeless apparel and handsome household pieces, visit her website, handweaver.us.